What's up y'all, it's Daphne and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be showing you all how I make sea moss gel. Today I'm gonna to be using a new product by Glasswing um, Organic. Before we get started, here are a few of the benefits of sea moss. It supports digestive health, it supports mental and emotional health, supports blood sugar management, supports healthy thyroid function, it helps reduce inflammation, it improves immune function, it provides relief for colds and flus, it's a natural decongestion, it detoxifies the body, and it also helps expel mucus from the body. I'm using half the package of sea moss. I begin by rinsing my sea moss thoroughly to remove any debris. As you can see, the more I rinse the sea moss, the more it expands. I have way more sea moss than what I began with. I am using the juice from two key lines for extra cleansing. And please keep in mind, this is a sea vegetable, so it will have a sea taste. Adding the key lime will also mask that taste. I am now adding two 16.9 ounce bottles of spring water to cover my sea moss. Now I'm about to place a lid over my sea moss and allow it to soak for 16 hours. So it's been about 16 hours and as you can see, I'm already adding my sea moss to the blender. I'm pulling out a few lime seeds here and there. I will be using spring water and a tea made from elderberries, bladderwrack, and burdock root. To make this tea, you will use about two cups of water, one tablespoon of elderberries, one tablespoon of bladderwrack, and one tablespoon of burdock root. Then you will allow it to simmer for 45 minutes before use. I don't like my sea moss gel very thick. I prefer it in between, so you will see me add more and more liquid to achieve the consistency that I prefer. Sea moss can be stored in the fridge for about three weeks, in the freezer for about a month. You can take two to four tablespoons of sea moss per day. I generally take about three tablespoons per day. I generally use sea moss in my smoothies, in my tea, and in my morning shot of wheatgrass. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.